They've decimated the animal population. They basically eat anything that moves out here. There's so many of them out here that, uh, you know, something has to be done. We're the ones that put them out here. We're the ones that have to try to do something to, uh, to get them under control. So we're out here in the Everglades right now. We're actually heading pretty deep into the Everglades on a dirt road. What we're out here doing is we're hunting Burmese pythons, which became a problem in the 1970s-ish when irresponsible pet owners started releasing them into the wild when they got too big. And the species has just gotten out of control. They're running rampant on the ecosystem, so much so that the state has actually hired professional hunters to track these down and euthanize them. And we're out here with Donna doing just that. Say, I don't notice the bite until afterwards. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, where'd that blood? You got that yeah. adrenaline going. You don't feel yeah. anything. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, you get them and you put them in. It could be like a 40-pound snake, and it's like, whoa, easy. And then you got to take it out. It's like, oh, God, what yeah. the hell? You like, know, no adrenaline that. left. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Your legs are all shaking. Yeah. All righty. Let's get them. Let's do it. <laughs> Go catch some pythons. I will break check you basically. So if you say python, it's going to be. You know, yeah. you're, That's you're, why you have the foam up here, yeah. right? Be prepared. Yes, be prepared. But as long as you know, one person has to keep their eye on it, uh, so that the next person can get down there and get it. Okay, let's do it. Sweet, I spot it. You catch it. I hunt pythons pretty much every day or night, depending on the weather. They're more likely to be out first thing in the morning if the temperatures are below 60. Um, if they're above that, we'll hunt at night because that's when the hunters hunt and we're out there hunting the hunters. Uh, right now it's a bit difficult because the hunters are not hunting for food, they're hunting for each other. Uh, it's mating season and uh, they tend to be more shy about that behavior. I like to call them Florida Burmese pythons because they've been here for, for generations now, probably more than 10 generations of, of snakes have, are, are breeding out here um, since the mid-70s. They've decimated the animal population. They basically eat anything that moves out here, everything from rats to birds to alligators and deer. There's so many of them out here that uh, you know something has to be done. We're the ones that put them out here. We're the ones that have to try to do something to, uh, to get them under control. It's important to have all the other snakes, including the venomous ones. It's only the pythons that we're going after here. So we're out here trying to save the environment for the animals, including the snakes, including the venomous snakes that belong out here in serve a purpose. The only hope they have is for us to remove the pythons. You know, you basically grab them right behind the sharp parts right behind the teeth uh, and you grab and you don't let go and they're going to try to wrestle free and that's when all the excitement starts once you grab them you know you haven't caught them until you get them by the head but you don't want to let go of their head because uh, they have a lot of teeth four rows up top two rows on the bottom sharp as needles and uh, they'll put a hurting on you if um, if you let them have you been bit yeah several times that's why i wear gloves <laughs> look at this what is this I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's gator, gator drag. What do you think? I don't see feet marks, but that's very thin. Yeah, yeah. just dragging its tail. Yeah. But straight. Yeah. You know, that's that's yeah. unusual. They usually don't drag it. Just a little bit of a turn. Yeah, they usually don't drag it that straight. Man. All right. Well, let's see what will come out to us, since we can't find them. I, I believe that I'm making a difference with each one I catch. I love making that difference. I hate having to, to euthanize them, but unfortunately, you know, there's, there's tens of thousands of them. And the reason we have this problem is that they didn't have good homes to start with. In order to try to fix this problem, we just have to, we have to eliminate them. You know, they, they have to be removed from the environment. They don't belong here. That's the worst part of the job, is that part. It's been fun, man. Kind of spooky out here, though. All kinds of sounds and uh, a couple frogs and a lot more alligators. <laughs> it's been sweet, though. We still got mm, like seven miles, I think, something like that. So hopefully we find one. Yeah. 
Look at me. There you go. So that's a little. What kind yeah. of snake is it? Looks like a brown brown water snake. Yeah, but, yeah. but it does look a lot like a moccasin. And I first they'll, thought it was I thought it was a moccasin. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. See how he's trying to make his little head triangular. So uh, you think he's a venomous snake? Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I we'll just let him go. You just yeah. And so many people would, would kill that. Yeah, and that's what we're out here to save. Mm -hmm. well, that's basically what we're out here to save. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, snakes are moving. I can't tell for certain, but... What is it? It's just some plastic. Ah. Plastic <laughs> Sorry for the false alarm. No, good spotting. I, that's what I want you to do. I don't want you to be at the gate. So yeah, maybe. Don't be like, oh, should have like told her yeah. to back up. <laughs> you know, back in 2010, we had a, a freeze, and uh, that knocked their numbers down substantially. Uh, they come from the tropics, and they couldn't handle the cold. We haven't had a hard freeze uh, to kill them back since 2010. And who knows when we'll have a hard freeze down here again. And that's what we were kind of relying on to keep their numbers lower. The higher temperatures will allow them to move further north than we were hoping they could. It used to be that uh, when we started this, it's like, okay, you know, Highway 41 is the, is the cutoff. You know, that's, that's pretty much as far north as, as we were seeing them. And this year in particular, We've been getting many reports that they're crossing I-75. So they've moved up a county uh, within within about a year and a half, two years or so. It's kind of a quick move. What we do know is uh, they're, they're found pretty much in every ecosystem that's out here. Places that we can't get to you know, there's pythons out there. Everywhere we can get to, there are pythons. Judy, well, uh, look. Look at the Oh, jeez, big. Oh, hey, you're so pretty. You're beautiful. Oh, sorry. I believe that every single one that we take out of the environment is, is helping the, uh, the animals that, are, that live in that area where that, where that python was going to eat. One of the, the most aggravating catches I caught was, uh, just, it was just a seven and a half foot python. When I caught it and bringing it up to the, to, you know, I've got to get a picture of it and, and bag it. As I'm doing that, it starts regurgitating its last meal. It threw up the, the last meal that it had and it was an anhinga, a, a bird that winds up being almost two feet long, you know, coming out of the seven and a half foot snake. And I was just pretty frustrated that I didn't get there in time to save that anhinga, you know. But I look at it like that's the last anhinga it's gonna eat. It's not gonna get to eat anymore because I'm taking it out of the Everglades. And that's how you have to look at it, you know, because uh, I was worried about my natives, you know. I, I've always loved snakes uh, since I was a little kid. And, and uh, yeah, I, have a soft spot in my heart for, for snakes. So you have to go into it positively and you have to continue, uh, continue. Just everyone makes a difference. Every single one makes a difference.